Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, we are going to see management of a cataract in a case of retinitis pigmentosa. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Methyl cellulose is applied over the cornea. It improves visibility. A small side port is made on the left side of the main incision. Now capsular excess is done with the help of uh, uterata forceps. There is convexity of the lens and convexity of the anterior surface of the lens and I did not want to do a large rexis initially but we have to get a large rexis at the end of the surgery because capsular phimosis is quite common in cases with retinitis pigmentosa. Hydrodissection is done, nucleus is rotated, SPMC is again used to fill up the anterior chamber. Now I am going to use a pre-chopper to divide the nucleus into some pieces. This is the first maneuvers. We get two hemineucleus and now one hemineucleus has been divided into two pieces. This pre-chopper has been designed by Dr. Sohail Irfan Khan from Nandit, Maharashtra, India. And now the FECO handpiece goes into the anterior chamber. The FECO needle is introduced with its bevel down towards the lens mass some superficial lens matter is removed. And then the handpiece is turned little bit so that the bevel is sideways. And now one piece is picked up and it is emulsified. And now the other hemineucleus is pierced at its middle and it is chopped into two pieces and then this lens matter is emulsified and it is removed. So the nucleus and epinucleus has come out and now a portion of the cortex is also being removed by the phaco needle. But removal of cortex by the phaco needle is not recommended for the beginner surgeons. Once you become highly experienced, you can try this and at your own risk. The anterior chamber is then filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and the remaining cortex is removed by a Simco cannula. We can use a coaxial IA also, but there is only one side port and bimanual cannot be used. The posterior capsule is polished to some extent by the Simco cannula itself, but this is not enough for a case with retinitis pigmentosa. Capsular phimosis is very, rate of capsular phimosis is very high in retinitis pigmentosa cases. So we have to do a nice polishing of the posterior capsule and as much as possible of the equator of the capsular bag. So uh, irrigating probe is being used for polishing of the posterior capsule. And now the 
anterior chamber as well as the capsular bag is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The main wound is enlarged a bit by 0 0.2 millimeter and the main wound which was 2.8 millimeter has become 3 millimeter. And now a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is placed in the capsular bag. Yes. And now is the time to inject some more visco and enlarge the rexis. Size of the rexis is about 5 millimeter. I am trying to make it 6.5 millimeter so that we can prevent formation of capsular phimosis. I take a one hour scissor and make a small cut at around 12 30 o'clock and take the uterata forceps again and now hold the stack and go clockwise and enlarge the rexis along the margin of the papal and thus the rexis has become quite large about 6 millimeter and now the visco is removed first by simco and then by by manual irrigation aspiration cannuli we must remove visco very nicely in all cases we must do it very meticulously we must give quality time for removal of visco in each and every case because intraocular pressure will be raised if this is not removed nicely first i use the simco cannula to do a nice irrigation and aspiration for some time and then I come out and use the irrigation aspiration cannoli. I did not use the aspirating port in this case, aspirating cannula in this case. And now bit of moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this wound. And then integrity of all the wounds are checked. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. And after checking the integrity of the wounds, the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.